picture. It's actually, uh, I put in a thumb drive, and you can see there's a couple stuff here, some folders, some documents. This is a, uh, you can see it's modified day with 2012, so this is yeah, about five months old. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pull up FTK Imager. It's a free uh, software from Access Data, and it's not their advanced software. We actually have advanced software somewhere else. But what we're going to do is we're going to do a uh, create a disk image. We're going to select a physical disk because we are using a USB drive and it is physical. And there we would see it's a USB drive, 4 gigabytes. And I'm going to point it to a destination. I usually use an EO1 image file. And you give it a case number if you want. Point it to a destination. I have a folder specifically for that. And you give it a name. Test 4 is what I would just use just for, the, for this example. Hit finish. And I tell it to pre-calculate the space. And then you go ahead and hit start. What this is going to do is actually going to create a bit by bit streaming image of the copy of the USB drive. And I'm going to hit cancel here just because I've already actually got the image done. So let's hit cancel there. Yeah, yeah, I know. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add an evidence item, image file. Let's browse to the image I created, which is a, uh, I put created as test 3 e one It actually says there's actually 1.5 gigabytes of uh, recorded data. So I hit open. And as you can see here, let's adjust my screen a bit here. This is what it looks like. Let's go ahead and expand this out here. As you can see, those previous files right there. But if we go ahead and click on root here, let's see what the imager actually sees out there. And let's give it a moment to think here. And it appears there's probably quite a bit, as there was only originally documents, but when we look at it, what do we see? Wow, we see the person actually had some MP3s, uh, some M4As, I'm not quite sure if that's movies or videos. You see lots of uh, probably illegally downloaded MP3s. Not that I really care. But, as you can see, lots and lots of them. Lots and lots and lots and lots of them. All of them in the Slack space there. Just tons and tons. And this is why you think that you've deleted your file and you think it's gone, but it actually doesn't... There is no recycling bin, no marking of that on a... Uh, uh, USB drive. So let's see here. We got this right here. Eh, some more documents, temp files, some more MP3s. Oh, there we can go. Oh, it might even be trying to play them. Yeah, it looked like it trying to play it, but the, it's corrupt. So we'll move on. And normally, if I had the advanced FTK imaging software, the full access data, I'd be able to pull these out. But my VPN back to the server is not working right now. I'm just showing you a demonstration. And as you can see, lots of MP3, so don't think that you're really hiding anything. Let's go inside this folder and let's see what we have here. Uh, some more documents, some PowerPoint, some temp files. Again, some more documents. Let's look at the unallocated space. Now, what we could do if we want to get crazy here is we can go through here and we could try to find some information in here. But, again, I don't have my advanced software and I'm not going to sit here and read tons of hex code and its interpretation to try to find useful information. I mean, it would just be a huge waste of time. That's why you have advanced softwares to do it. But that's basically an FK imager. And what's great about the software is, you know, you have, uh, if you have, like, a uh, bad hard drive, you can actually use this to recover a lot of your data. Let's see if there's anything useful. But basically, that's a FTK imager. Really not that complicated. But I like to use it.